overjoyed by these Rubekia, the Black Eyed Susan. You guys, can you see how big this display is? Now, let me explain the gap. Well, my neighbor's cat came over and I guess they made this their little bedding area and they broke a lot of the Black Eyed Susan stems and so I planted the rest of them in the garden for next season. Um, but what I did was to fill the hole. If you can see down there, I planted some zinnias and I also planted some Leatris Blazing Star in there. I don't know if the Leatris is going to come up this season, but it's in there. The elephant ears. This is like a mammoth elephant ear and of course it's supposed to get really, really big. It was huge last season. We saw that. And this is the, um, I think, is this spiderwort lily? The blue? Let me turn it down so you can see the color. That's um, the spiderwort lily, I believe. And this beautiful little beauty in there um, is um, Coreopsis. And of course, we have the giant African marigold. And no, I did not intentionally plant a yellow one. I just sprinkled some seeds and they happen to be yellow. And here I have my canna lily. And uh, I put those in the um, bed last season and they were really, really tiny little babies that I found. They popped up um, in my grass. And look how big they are. Look how tall they've gotten. Okay, now, the, oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look at my rhubarb. It was just beautiful and growing so nicely. And I believe that's a Japanese beetle that has chewed this thing to bits. Oh my God, I'm so mad. Behind here, really far behind, in there, I have hollyhock in there, but I don't know if it's gonna come up. This, well, it's up, I just don't know. It's getting kind of shaded out by the Black Eyed Susan. So some zinnias are finally blooming. And look at my artichoke. It's really nice. So this morning, I wanted to take you all on my zucchini squash tour because I have been fighting the squash vine borer for the past oh couple months since I put these bad boys in the ground and you see this one is kind of looking kind of funky I don't know but it's kind of looking kind of funny and I've already killed a vine borer on this one already actually quite a few I think I pulled about three of them off of here so I really don't know I don't know if he's in there if another one is in there or not but I've cut back several leaves and you can see that yellowing like that oh that's really you know I've been watering so I can't say it's water it really shouldn't be doing that that could be a vine borer because the, the leaves start showing like damage when a vine borer is in the squash. The stems, they show damage. So that's a way that, a way you can kind of tell that he's in there. Okay, oh my God, I think he's in this one. I don't know if you can see that. Do you see that? Do you see that? that coming out of that stem? Ah, oh my gosh. I think he's in here. I think he's in this one. I'm gonna cut that stem open and see. But look, look at those eggs right there. Let me see if I can clear it up. You see those eggs right there? I gotta get them out of there. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, it's been a battle. I've been fighting that squash vine borer and stink bugs. I mean, I'm just getting tired and worn out. 
look at this one this one is like upright it's so so pretty and in here look at look at look at you guys i have a zucchini a gorgetta. oh my gosh i'm so excited but it's a little big look at that i'm gonna go ahead and harvest it so i wanted to harvest this um zucchini on camera for you guys because i've been fighting that squash vine borer and honestly this is an African marigold that fell down in the storm. I have to stake it up. When they fall, they'll get these little crooked necks. Ooh, what in the heck was that? I'll be right back. Oh, gosh. All right, in here also is another beautiful lily. I'm gonna show it to you as soon as it opens. Okay, let's go back over here. I had to get my gloves. I saw a bug that I had never seen before. It scared the crap out of me. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. This, I don't know. Hopefully, it won't be my last one. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put my gloves on. I cannot find my little shears, my garden shears. I think I dropped them in the garden somewhere. And so, um, I like to wear gloves because you know the uh, zucchinis they have they have kind of prickly in here and no I don't twist mine off and I like to cut them so. what in the world is that poopy stuff now? okay so I can't find my wait okay so I can't find my shoes so I'm just gonna use my garden scissors these are the ones I use for the garden you guys want to count down with me three two Yay. Wait. It's a little bright, isn't it? The first one. Oh my gosh. I'm going to place you gently in the little basket. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's so cute, y'all. I'm so happy. Well, let's pray that this is not my one and only zucchini. And I definitely have zucchini plants. Okay. But they're under attack. And there are the pumpkins. There. And I want to trellis these pumpkins. I really do. I think I'm going to. Ooh, look at it. I don't know if you can see it. The sun is flaring. Look at this. This pumpkin is climbing up this netting no 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 bad pumpkin no can't do that oh my gosh no oh my goodness look at those tendrils oh my god i'm gonna have to break it oh my goodness he's grabbed onto this african miracle oh you know they'll, they'll climb on whatever they can Miracle is strong. No, 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 no. That's not nice. Play nicely. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I think it's. Oh my goodness. I think it's caught on another one here. Let's see. Look at that. It sure is. Right there. They're interlocked together. Well. Oh gosh. I'm gonna have to break it. I have to release him and let him go. You know he's your friend. You guys can play on the playground later. Okay, let's get you out of here, buddy. I know this other pumpkin is like, please get this big, humongous, heavy thing off of me. Okay. Whoa. It's pretty well anchored in it must have done this yesterday i just came out and, and watched this uh you know and checked on it and uh so i guess it did it right last night oh look it has blooms they're 
blooms now. Fantastic. Oh my gosh, exciting things going on in the garden this morning. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh my. Um, let me get this untangled. I'll be right back. All right, I got them untangled. Look how long it is. I, have, I wanted to climb it a trellis. I just have to get this area figured out over here. And I was looking at it, and you see that yellow leaf right there? It shouldn't be yellow. So, you have to ask yourself, why is this leaf yellow? Right? That's what I ask myself. If you have a pumpkin in your garden and you start getting yellow leaves out of nowhere, you better start questioning it. All right, let's go in for some investigation because guess what? Squash vine borer, it also lays eggs on pumpkins. That's a, um, that was a, what was that, hornet? Okay, so here's the leaf. Whoop, come on, hornet. Here's the leaf right here. Eventually. All right, so, so far so good with the pumpkins. I don't see anything, thank goodness. All right, so here are the boys raised bed boxes they are doing really really well you can see the tomatoes growing really large right here some cucumbers oh my gosh oh my goodness look at that completely severed Tomato hornworm. Investigate. Investigate. Oh, there he is. There he is. Right there. Do you see him? Do you see him? Do you see how he can camouflage? Look what he did. He chewed the plant, the tomato plant, completely off, severed the top. Completely. Look at this. This is completely gone. Okay? Look at this. He will take this entire plant down. Let's get a closer look. There he is. The tomato hornworm. Now, I have seen them way bigger than this. <laughs> when they have had several meals. Yes, when they've been feasting on your garden. So this little guy is just getting started. But he's big, so he's no baby. He's been in the garden for a minute. But you know what? I blame myself because, and the boys, because they haven't been out here to check their boxes in a couple of days. They've been at camp. So, oof, I do not like to touch this worm. Oof, I don't. I don't like to touch it. Not even with my gloves on. I don't like worms like that. Ooh. I don't like it. Oh my god, I dropped it. <laughs> okay, wait, I had to turn him. the light up. I know y'all think I'm crazy. You're like, how can you be a gardener? You're all afraid of bugs. Okay. okay. He's poking a little horn out of me. Oh my my. Tomato hornworm. Camouflages very well. Looks just like a branch or a leaf. Really, really disguises himself well. But as you can see, he will take out your plants. So, you know, you have to get him out of the garden. He's not welcome. I'm so sorry. And yeah, we have birds flying around, but you know what? Oh gosh, y'all send a prayer up for him. I'm sorry. Okay. 
let's finish taking a look at the box and see if we can find any other little critters in here. The beans are doing really good. This is Isaiah's box, my oldest son, this one. And he planted um, the Big Macs, so the pumpkin. He wanted a big giant pumpkin. And look at it, it's doing really good. It's huge, it's right there. He planted two just in case. Um, and then there's some, I think he has some zinnias in here, some beans, onion. Um, he needs to plant some carrots in here, that'll be good. Put some carrots in here, some tomato. Let's see, what else are they planting here? Do -do -do -do. I don't know, but it's a lot of stuff in here, and I'm sure we have a video about it. All right, and that's my other son's box it's growing really well. I need to take a look over there and make sure no, there's no tomato hornworm over here on this tomato plant. And then I'll go do the inspection on my other ones. All right. All right, so let's see what else we got growing on in the garden this morning. All right, guys, so I removed all of that cardboard. And we got that out of here. I'm going to throw that away in just a minute. This is the watermelon. And the watermelon is doing really good. And I have, I think... Some baby watermelons on here somewhere. If I find one, I will show it to you. And the cut flower garden. The cut flower garden is doing really well. Sunflowers. So up here at the front arbor entrance of the garden, I have some um, yard long beans coming on this trellis, growing on here. If you can see them right there. And I just finished harvesting quite a bit, just a little bit of them that were getting kind of long, especially that one. Look at that. It's really, really long. Isn't that something? I love it. And then I did harvest a few more sugar snap peas. So these are growing along really nicely. And what's coming along with them are the Shasta daisies are finally in bloom. Really, really nice. Black eyed Susans are on this side. I kind of um, tied them up because they were hanging all out in the aisle. But then um, there's some more Shasta daisies right there growing. And so eventually I'm going to have to take, because I think I want food growing on the arbor. I don't know. I don't know yet. But I, I planted the roses right next to the sides to climb up. And I mean, it is doing just that, but I'm not going to you know, I really won't, I don't want to harvest and get pricked by a rose bush. So I need to decide what I want to do. But I did plant these because I knew it would be some time before um, we would get the rose bush to climb up the arbor. These are potatoes. If you remember me planting those potatoes in the video, there they are coming along nicely yep and these are some more beans and this particular one is um, what is this one this one these are what are they I don't know I'm trying to think I think they are contender beans are they Contender beans, maybe. But I underplanted these with the Brussels sprouts because I knew they would get really large. So I left space, and the Brussels sprouts are supposed to come up on both sides, and the beans are being under underplanted 
underneath them. So, is that gonna work? Is that a good plan? I don't know. I'm just trying it out. Who knows? But we have to try things out. And so today I will be working on the green beans. And we'll figure out what we're gonna do with those. It's trying to climb up that arbor there. I need to fertilize that flower. And yeah, everything's looking pretty good. There. And here are the other tomatoes. So the easiest way to look for the vine, the um, look, I'm still, I still got vine borer on my mind. The easiest way to look for the tomato hornworm is to look for his poop, okay? And they're big balls that fall either on the leaf or on the ground. So that's what I do. I just go around and I kind of look for the poop. That's the first sign. And then the second sign, of course, is damage. If you see any chewed on stems or leaves or branches that are gone, then yeah, then you need to um, get this and work on this today as well. But yeah, that's what, uh, that's an easy way to look for them. So I was just inspecting my uh, tomato here and noticed that this one had started to go brown and rot off. So I'm going to fertilize because as I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've fertilized this row yet. I have a, a row here going all the way down, um, back across that way. And it comes back up this way and I don't think I have fertilized. And so, this one is, it has a nutrient deficiency. And um, we'll fix that today. So no need to keep it on there. It's just a waste of the plant's energy. Oh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Look at there. That's the problem. That is more than likely a vine borer. Not a vine borer. That is more than likely a tomato hornworm um, that got in there. That's why this is dying. Oh goody, I'm glad because oh, I haven't fertilized this area and I did not want it. Because this one, this one is beautiful. Look, I have tomato rot on my, pink, my gloves now. Ew. But this one is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my, my, my. Nice. All right, so I believe this was a, a worm. Yep, I think he got to it. So, might even be in there. Who knows? Might crack it open and see. This is okra. The okra is looking really good. Coming up nice and strong. And we're gonna go check on, let's go check on my burgundy okra. I moved it the other day because I didn't want it to cross pollinate with the other okra. I don't know if I moved it far enough, but that's the only space I had available. <clears throat> so that's where I put it. So initially the okra was here with the other okra. This is all okra growing here all the way down. And um, I moved it. It was some in the front. I had a double road right in the the very front of these okra plants here. It's tomatillo. It's tomatillo. These are beets and turnips. Beets, turnips. Sunflower. I'm just going to cross over and show you the other okra. All right, so all right, so I moved it over here, and 
it experienced some transplant shock. Okay, it was really limp. They were laying down. They were they were drooping, not laying down, but they were all drooping as you can see. See that? Okay. You see that? Very droopy. Very, very shocked. They were uprooted, you know. And about three days later, here we have them standing up. Now every day, I came out here and I talked to them and I said, you know what? I know I've uprooted you all and I know that you're hurt. You're hurt because you were getting nicely situated and you were growing and thriving and I uprooted you. And I had to move you to a different location. But the location where I moved you is going to be great. You're going to love it. So I want you to grow for me. I want you to grow. And I watered them in. And every day I came out here and I talked to them. And I asked them to grow and I asked them to live. And guess what? <laughs> they didn't die. But looking at this, you would think they were going to be dead within another day. Look at that. Look at that. Looking at something like that, and just imagine it drooping. I should have gotten a shot of it drooping down so you all can see it. They were so sad. And now they're standing up strong. They've gotten rooted in. They're ready to go. So, can you transplant okra? Can you move it at this stage of growth? The answer is yes.